hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm just glenn and i'm very happy to have you so i know it's been a minute since i filmed a video but as you can tell i'm in a new space um i have recently moved to mm, i was gonna say new york but i already lived in new york i lived on long island i moved to the city i am now in brooklyn so that is why i have not been able to film in a really long time i've had a lot going on new job, moving, everything like that. So, I'm finally gonna sit down for you guys and film a new video. Uh, I've been wanting to film this actually for a really long time now. It's like kind of like a favorites video. Um, it's not like a monthly favorites or anything like that, but just uh, what I'm loving like currently. Um, so this is June, and a lot of these things that I'm gonna be talking about, I have loved for a really long time. And I'm also going to use some of the products so you guys can see them as well. Um, so yeah, I guess let's just jump right in. So I think I'm going to start by going just like my daily routine. Um, I wake up in the morning, I get in the shower and wash my face and do whatever. So yeah, um, I don't really have like a favorite, favorite face, fa a favorite face wash right now. Um, but I have been using a few different ones. I've been, and I don't want to go grab them. But I've been using, um, I think it's Clean and Clear, the Lemon Gel Cleanser, and then also the Glam Glow Cleanser. I've been alternating between those. Um, I think I like the Clean and Clear a little bit better, just because my skin's oily, um, compared to the Glam Glow. So, when I get out of the shower, um, something I've been loving to use within the past few months has been this Ula Henriksen Toner. This is the Glow to... HO dark spot toner this is my second bottle of this and i've been loving this it's really helped with my skin um and yeah it just really helped with my skin and helps like decrease like my acne scarring and things like that and it also i find helps balance my oils so i use that in the morning i don't use it at night i only use it in the morning and then also after that i use and i'm so sad i'm i actually ran out of this this morning this is my absolute favorite moisturizer i've ever used this is the elemis pro collagen marine cream this is what it looks like i just finished it this morning i actually got this in a boxy charm so i actually did not pay for this because the price tag is very high on this um and it's been my favorite moisturizer literally ever so unfortunately I ran out of it this morning and I'm probably not going to repurchase one just because they're so expensive, but maybe one day. Um, so I'll have to find a dupe for this. Next in my face routine, I guess I'll like start using some of the products, is going to be um, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I use this every single day. This is my second or third one. Um, so I just swirl my finger around in there. And throw it on the face just kind of like that um and just rub it in really nicely so once i rub that in i um go ahead and for everyday wear i have been loving the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear these are the two shades i use one for when i'm pale like right now and then the other one is for when i am tan so the one when i'm pale is ivory 410 and the one when i am tan is ivory buff 430 so not the biggest difference because i don't really get that tan but those are the two that i use every day they have spf in them i believe right yeah 25 spf love them for everyday use um don't particularly wear them in the nighttime because of the spf um i don't want to have any flashback so something i use always when i'm going out and i just need my makeup to be like snatched is the nars natural radiant Longwear foundation this one is in the shade punjab i don't know it's not gonna focus well there we go in the shade punjab this is also my tan color because i'm obviously not that color right now um so i don't have one of these for when i am pale like right now um but usually if i have like 
something I'm doing, like an event or whatever, I do self-tan, so this will always work out for me. I'm gonna go ahead and use the L'Oreal one. I'm gonna use the more tan one just because everything else will match if I use this one. So I usually just take it and just like squirt it on my face. I'm actually running out of this. I need to get more. Yeah, it's not even coming out. All right, maybe I'll mix it with a lighter shade just so I have it. And I do shake it up just because it's a more liquidy formula. I don't know if like you're supposed to, but I do. So I just squirt it directly on my face. And then my favorite sponge is the Real Techniques sponge. I use this, I have like a million of them. Like these are all the ones that I have and they all like need to be cleaned still. But I have so many of these and I have even more like laying around that aren't just in there. I consistently buy them just when I don't feel like cleaning them or whatever it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that in using the sponge. So as you guys can tell, this foundation is more of like a lighter coverage and that is why I really like using it every day when I go to work because I don't want anything too full coverage or too heavy when I go to work especially because I have it on for like 12 hours at a time sometimes if not longer honestly I work very long days so I want something really lightweight and light coverage that's not going to get too cakey or anything like that. So this one I've really been loving and it lasts literally all day. It claims to last 24 hours, but I would not recommend you having anything on your face for 24 hours. So I'm going to just drag it down my neck. So yeah, as you can see I felt like a light coverage on my skin just to cover up like any dark spots I may have just to even out the skin tone really um that's like drugstore but an all another foundation that has SPF in it that I really love I mean I guess it's not a foundation it is um it's a CC cream but I use this when I go on vacation um and I I need a new one but the it cosmetics CC cream has 50 SPF in it and I love this stuff. This is in the shade medium. Again, I use this when I'm tan and this lasts all day and it doesn't look greasy, anything like that. Like for a CC cream that has SPF in it, this stuff is bomb. So there's that. As for concealers, I mean, I love Tarte Shape Tape but I don't always reach for this. Um, recently, what I've been reaching for is either the infallible by l'oreal so another drugstore product or i don't know where the concealer is right now but i have the contour shade here um this is the ColourPop no filter concealer also really loving this i've been using this like since they came out with it um in both the contour for both my contour and the concealer so since i can't find that one right now I'm going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal Infallible one. This is in the shade 330. It's going to go under my eyes. And again, using the Real Technique sponge just to bum that out. And sometimes if I'm doing like full glam, I'll do like the forehead and like the chin just to like highlight certain areas. Okay. Next up is setting powder so oh here it is this is my favorite setting powder currently this is the peach perfect by Too Faced in the shade translucent it is mattifying mattifying loose setting powder it's infused with peach and sweet fig milk it smells really good um i think i saw like james charles said you can eat it 
re wouldn't really recommend doing that but who knows um so this is one i love especially when i go out because i know that there's not gonna be any flashback with it um also i really enjoy cody airspun i know some people say that this has flashback but i've never had a problem with it um again but mostly i do use this just during the day like going to work so this is what i'm going to use right now and to apply it i use um just like a powder puff this is a mikasa one and this set under my eye and i also like set like my eyelids because my eyelids get really greasy and then just take the excess powder and go all over my face And usually as I'm letting that set, I do my brows. So for brows, I have two products. Um, for drugstore brows and my everyday brows, I use the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. And this I think is in the shade Taupe. Yes, Taupe. This I use every day. I will repurchase this over and over and over again. I absolutely love it. It's like my 10th one. I use this literally every day. Um, and then for high end... This is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit in shade number two. This is the rose gold one from the Desi Perkins collection. But um, this one has like more of like a fine tip. So I think it, this one has more of like a fine tip. So I think it depends on like what look you're going for um, that day. If I want like a really, really precise brow, I'll go for this one. If not, if I'm just doing them quickly to go to work, I use this one. And this one has, um, it's like a rectangular, um, kind of tip. I don't really know how to explain it. But that one fills in my brows really quickly and really nicely. So that's one I use every day. So yeah, just now I use the next one. It glides on really nicely. I can do my brows really quickly with this. So I love this for on an everyday basis. Now I'm just going to brush away that powder. And now for bronzer. Um, I really love, I can't find it right now, the Lorac Pro Palette. Um, that has... I really love the Lorac Pro Palette. Um, don't know where that is right now, but I use that um, quite often. And as for like a single one... I use the Pretty Vulgar. This is in the shade Bronze Mankini. So this has been one of my go-tos for a really long time as well. I'm just gonna bronze up a little bit. I find that this is a nice color for not only like when I'm tan, but also pretty decent for when I'm pale like now as well. To bronze up the face and add some warmth to it and next is blush so my favorite blush currently is this one that i got actually while i was in spain this is from the brand kiko um i believe they do sell it here in the u.s but there's only like maybe three stores when i was in spain you see these everywhere there's like a kiko literally everywhere i go it's kiko milano um so this is their radiant baked blush in the shade all about coral and it also has a little bit of shimmer in there as well. Um, so if you don't like shimmer blushes, you might not like this. But recently I've been liking shimmer blushes, so this works out really well for, for me. If you have a lot of texture or like really big pores, you might not like this as much because of the shimmer. It might like accentuate that a little bit. But for me, I don't mind it. And I really like like the life that it like brings my face and making it look more like skin. It's not like a glittery shimmer, like it's a very soft, subtle shimmer. That makes sense. As for highlighters, I don't really have a new highlighter that I like absolutely love. I still love, excuse me, I still love the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. That has still been my go-to no matter what. Um, but I also recently have been trying the artist couture highlighters this is the artist couture one this is in the shade purple haze um 
So if you're looking for a more natural glow, maybe not this shade, but um, I really do like their powders. They're just, they just go on beautifully, honestly. So pretty on like the skin. And I think maybe if I got like a different shade, I'd wear it every day. Something that doesn't have like a purple hinge to it. But his powders, this is um, MAC Dye's brand. And just the way his highlighters are so, like, they're not chunky glitter or anything like that. Like, they go on so nicely. And you can layer them so nicely as well. And I need to get more shades of this, for sure. And I just put highlighter all over my face. It's fine. But yeah. Look how nice that is. I also really like if you're looking for like a cheaper version of this, the Wet n Wild um loose highlighters are very nice as well. Again, I don't know. I have one somewhere, but Alright, so I'm not gonna do like a full eye look right now. I'm just gonna talk briefly about some of the palettes I've been loving and I'll like insert them because since I'm in the middle of like the move, I don't know where everything is right now, unfortunately. So I will insert pictures of them. Um, but my favorite, favorite palette right now for natural looks is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette. And then um, another palette by her brand, the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette. There's something about her formula that I just absolutely love and can't stop using it. It really just blends so beautifully and you can create like any eye look you want with it. Um, if you want, go ahead and check out my Instagram. There is videos of me using both the palettes on there. Next to set my face, um, there's two sprays that I've really been loving. So the MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus, this one's literally empty and it's like my third bottle. Love this one so much. If I want my makeup to last a little bit longer though, I go ahead and I use the Scandinavia. This is the makeup finishing spray in the oil control version, and it's their big bottle. I love this stuff. I use it every day for work. My makeup lasts all day long. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that all over. Favorite, favorite, favorite setting spray to make your makeup last. Um, the MAC one's really good if you have like a lot of powder on and you want to blend everything together. But really making my makeup last, I use the Scandinavia one. So, next I want to talk about... Um, what do I want to talk about next? I have like one drawer of like all my go-tos that I use every day. So that's what I keep on reaching down into. Because like my everyday makeup, just I just throw it all in one drawer so it's easy for me to get. Um, but again, with moving, everything is kind of all messed up, so I'm trying to look for things. Alright, so my absolute favorite mascara right now is also Drugstore and also L'Oreal. I know there's a lot of L'Oreal products in this video, but honestly, they're cheap and they're bomb, so I highly recommend them. Um, there's really no L'Oreal product that, like, I don't think that I've tried that I haven't liked. Um, so if you're balling on a budget... I would say L'Oreal would be my go-to. L'Oreal, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, all really, really good drugstore brands that you can get so much from, such good quality. So again, my everyday, this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I believe it's like a cult fave, like everyone loves this one. So I'm just gonna throw that on quick. Okay, so there's that. Next, to talk about lashes. So I have two versions of lashes that I absolutely love. One is drugstore, one is high-end. The high-end one I want to talk about is Lily Lashes. Again, a cult fave that everyone loves. Um, everyone loves the Miamis though. And I am obsessed with Mykonos. So these are, I have used over and over and over again. So these are the shape, are the style Mykonos. Um, I'll go ahead and put these on quickly. I know a lot of people love the Miamis. Not the, I'm not the biggest fan of the Miamis. The Mykonos, for some reason though, are bomb to me. And as for lash glue, I haven't found like a lash glue yet that like I love that I can go out and purchase. Um, so I'm actually gonna be ripping apart this eyewear set and using the lash glue that comes in that because 
for whatever reason, it's the only lash glue I can get to like work. I love it. It's the only one that works for me. So I will buy as many eyewear sets as I need to just to get the lash glue. And that's leading me to my next fave lash, which um, I don't have any on me right now. Um, I ran out of all of them. I use them literally so often. These Mykonos are more like a full glam kind of day. And the other ones I'm going to talk about from Eyewear are more of like an everyday wear. Sorry, I'm looking down because I'm putting lash glue on the lashes. But um, the Eyewear ones I use more of like if I don't really have any like heavy makeup on um they're still gorgeous with or without makeup or whatever you want to do with them but they are the nicole guerrero i'll insert a screenshot right here of them they are the nicole guerrero collab with i wore and and they are absolutely beautiful i love them i wear them literally all the time i think i've got there like 10 pairs of them and they're so hard to find i can only find them in walgreens and like i search for them like i go online i search for them make sure the store has them if i find a store that does have them i pick up like four packs of them love them very hard to find them all right so these are the lashes on um i couldn't really get them on too well for some reason today so they're a little wacky but as you can tell they are much more dramatic um than an everyday lash so I only wear these like if I'm going out, if there's, if I have like an event going on, this one won't even stay down. So yeah, these are the style Mykonos. So next for lips, I don't particularly have like a favorite shade, but my favorite kind of lip always is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. Um, drugstore price, you can get them in Ulta, some shades. Um, but they're mostly online. This is in the shade Naughty, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. This is a very nude shade. So for these lips, I just really love the way that they dry down. They dry down. They are very dry, full warning, so if you don't like that, I won't recommend these. But for me, I really like that really dry kind of lip where I know it's not going to budge all day and I know it's not going to get on my wine glass or anything like that. So the ultra matte lips are my favorite for that, especially if I need them long wear or whatever it is. Um, I don't particularly like regular lipsticks, creamy lipsticks, anything like that because I feel like they don't last long and they get everywhere. So these ones are my go-to for something that needs to last all day. So next, I just want to talk about a few random products that aren't necessarily makeup, but they do have to do with beauty. Um, products that I use all the time whether they're face masks um self tanners things like that so the first thing i'm gonna grab for you is um i guess i'll start from makeup wipes okay so i got some products here so my literal favorite makeup wipes ever are the neutrogena makeup wipes i feel like one wipe will take off everything i like really really moist makeup wipes so that's why i love the neutrogena ones i don't feel like they're too dry anything like that i'm like one swipe and i'm done so there's that. Next, I have um, two face masks. To, actually, I have more than two. Two clay face masks to talk about. Drugstore is the Freeman face mask. Uh, face mask. This is the Mint and Lemon 10-minute um, mask. Instantly refreshes, controls breakouts for clear skin. Oily breakout skin. I love this, using this like every other day to keep my skin in check because it is very oily and it does break out quite often. If I feel like my skin really, really needs the help, I reach for the Glam Glow Super Mud. This one is a little bit more harsh on my skin, um, and I do get very red after it, but it definitely dries everything up and sucks everything out, that's for sure. When I feel like I need a lot of moisture in my skin, um, which is all the time, I use the Summer Fridays jet lag mask and i use this before i go to bed so i take like a dime size amount put it all over my face almost like a moisturizer and leave it on all night and i wake up in the morning and my skin feels so nice and smooth next i have what i have next hair so for hair 
I use every day the Brio Gio Rosarico milk. I'm on like my fifth bottle of this. Um, it's a reparative leave-in conditioning spray. I use this every single morning, whether I blow dry my hair or I don't. I use this and then use my my um, wet and dry brush every day then i recently came across if you guys have probably all heard of the dyson air wrap but my best friend turned me on to this and it's from revlon it's similar to the dyson air wrap only it doesn't have all the different attachments this is strictly just for like blow drying your hair and oh my god i can't find anything that compares like to this like i'll never use a blow dryer again it it's like half the dry time. I don't have to straighten my hair afterwards. Like it's literally like a fresh blowout. Obsessed with this. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I think the last thing I want to talk about is my favorite self tanner. Um, I actually just bought more today. I actually got two of them because they were buy one get one half off right now. And this is the Ulta Beauty brand self-tanning express tan, one hour express tan, whatever it is. I don't only use this for one hour. I actually put it on at night and then go to sleep in it. And this has been the only tanner that I have found that is an even coverage. Like I have so many bottles here. Like this isn't this express one. This is the regular one. I have this one. I have the express one i can't get enough of this stuff i use this every week for the most part whenever there's some weeks where i don't have time to do it but i use it all the time and it's the only thing that has like a nice even coverage on me and doesn't look like orange or gross or super fake it's a very natural tan i don't know if you're already tan how good it will work for you but i'm very pale so it works great for me i put it on at night go to sleep wash it off in the morning and it's bomb i love it there's literally nothing better so i think that is it for my favorite current products that i use daily if you guys want to see like more videos like this like let me know in the comments down below um if you want to see like a strictly drugstore one let me know a strictly high-end one let me know also if you like this of like me getting ready with some of the products also let me know that as well um or if you would rather a sit down video of my makeup already being done and then me just talking about different products whatever you guys want i'm here for it so let me know and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell down below to bleh, down below so you get notified every time i post a new video um i'm gonna really try now that i'm kind of settled into my new apartment gonna really try to get videos out at least weekly for you guys that's scary saying that on camera because it might not happen but i'm gonna try so that's like me kind of telling myself it has to happen because i'm telling you guys it's gonna happen so yeah don't forget to subscribe leave a like if you liked this let me know in the comments down below what else you guys want to see and thank you all for watching